welcome to the Sea Otter News Station. I am here to ask a special guest star, Josiah Poirier, a simple question. What would you do for one single Flamin' Hot Cheeto? And here he is now. Hello, sir. How are you doing? Good. Nice to meet you. Thank you for appearing on the show today. Thank you. And I just want to say I will do plenty of things for a single hot Cheeto. They are absolutely delicious. Well, we can't wait to interview you. So let's go down to the interview room and get this interview going. All right, let's go. You first? Yeah. So this is the room where we do our interviews. Come on in. Oh, well, it looks very nice. Oh, thanks, man. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for having me here. Josiah Poirier, everyone. This guy Hello. said he would do pretty much anything for a single flaming Hot Cheeto. So let's get down to it. Man. What exactly would you do? You cut me off. But anyway. Sorry, man. It's all right, but. It's all good. I would build a wall, like China's wall, just around my house for it. Like a miniature wall of China? Pretty much. And it might cost a small amount of a million dollars, I don't know, but this is why I'll do it. I'll have my hot Cheeto inside, and so so this is just, this is uh, my security. I'll have my hot Cheeto inside so I can protect it. But to get it, I mean, heck, I would go over. I'd get in the full, you know, robber suit. You know, all these, you know, special things. Oh, coming through the roof, go down ceiling, all that stuff. You know, I've seen the movies. I would take it from somebody, preferably a little child. So this guy is pretty dedicated to getting his single flame hot Cheeto. Yes, even if it means taking it from a little child and having him cry. So you talk a lot about how much you like flame hot Cheetos. Do you like flame hot Funyuns or Fritos just the same? Not just the same. They're good. Trust me. I would even say they're great. But just flame hot Cheetos, just the original flame hot, not that extra, 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 whatever. So no Those, lime either? No, no lime. I don't like lime, to be honest with you. But it, it's just the extra, extra, extra hot ones, or whatever. I think it's like 2X and whatever. I think it's just extra. No, I think it's like X extra. This guy knows his Cheetos. Yeah. But I don't know, they have a weird taste, in my opinion. Good, just not as good. So if you do all this for a single Cheeto, what about a whole bag? I would take it from a baby. I would take whole bags from babies. I would steal them right in front of their mother. I know it's cruel. Dude, that's but it'll work. True it's harsh. dedication. It's harsh. But I mean, just, I have a smile because I think of me stealing all those hot cheetos. I mean, just, just I'm not gonna take this. Just like, oh, you can't have those, kid. Well, I mean, wouldn't it be kind of cruel to let the baby eat the cheetos, though? Because, I mean, they don't know what hit them, they're just babies. I don't care. Hey, what if it's a baby that likes them? Some babies would be like, some, some babies, babies would be like, hey, get them eating hot stuff when they're young. When they're older, man, they'll be able to have like Carolina Reapers. Oh, yeah. So, we now know what Josiah would do for a single Cheeto. Let's see what some other people would do. I'm going to let you read the first one since you're the guest here. Ah, uh, I don't. I don't. Oh, that one. Pick. That one was lame. That's it. No, no, no. How, how about you pick this one? You, you, right. you pick the first one. So let's see. My brother didn't know he knew how to use the internet. So he says that he would do a triple backflip off of a high dive into an empty pool, and we're talking a high dive. Generally, when you see high dives in pools, the water's like 12 feet deep. And then the diving board is an additional like 11 feet. So we're talking a 23 foot triple backflip for a single Cheeto. No, obviously that's pretty extreme. That, that is mean, pretty extreme. He's taking it out on himself to get it. I'm taking it out on little children and babies. That is impressive. It's I very, mean, very impressive. Uh, and let's see. Let's see, you get to pick the next one, man. I just don't know what to pick, I mean. I could do a celebrity, I could do, you know, I don't know, what do you think, what do you think? Just find, like, some average looking kid, like, maybe middle school. Oh, so... Because I we know that Cheetos are banned from some middle schools for some bizarre reason. They're too hot or something, I don't yeah, even know. Yeah, something like that, I think it's something to do with sodium. No, uh, well, I mean, at least reasons. my school has a ban, because I would probably 
I don't even know what I'd do. I would, would go insane. I would go. And, I would switch schools, and if I had to stay at that school, I would go insane. I would legitimately. I don't even know what I'd do. I would go insane. I would start banging my head up against the wall in every single class, saying I would get brain damage unless if you bring it back. So you better bring it back. Unban it. But they haven't banned it yet, so nothing. Right. That's not no, gonna happen. I, I mean, I might be messed up in the head. I probably am. But not that bad. But uh, all right. So, the, so I'll shoot off his username. It's um, Big Mac five five six. I think that's a pretty great name. It seems like he's a McDonald's might fanboy. Actually, be. Actually, or not, I mean, I actually got my little sister Big Mac. So I'm on Twitter. I mean, you can't see a picture, but he or she said that they will. Man, what is that? What is that? Dude, that's kind of weird, don't you think? That is weird. They said that they would go around the world and twerk on everybody to get one. So we now know what some other people would do for Cheetos. Now Josiah, when was the last time you ate a hot Cheeto? It was actually a couple days ago. Um, I didn't react to anything crazy just because somebody uh, was just like, hey, do you want to have this hot Cheeto? It was actually some uh, random dude on the street. Uh, so Could have been poisoned. Yeah, but <laughs> It's worth it. Yeah. Tasted fine. But yeah, I was wondering, um, do you have any hot Cheetos here? Because I am pretty much like an addict to them. I need to have some more. Uh, we, we don't have any in the studio. Are you freaking serious? You bring me here. You ask me what I do for hot Cheetos and you can't supply me one. I come here, I spend my own time doing this stuff to help you, to get you to use, to share the world, you know what you want them to know, and then you do this to me? How can you do that to me? Dude, I didn't know you were gonna ask me for one. How would you not know that? I, I, I don't have anything to say. What do you mean you don't have anything to say? Dude, I'm sorry. I'm sorry we don't have any Cheetos here. Sorry? Sorry ain't enough. What I guess is? I'm pretty much like an addict. <sighs> Give me a full bag. I want actually we don't ten have, full bags. We don't have any. I don't even want that open. This one, Thompson. You do not. You will not like me when I'm mad, especially when it comes to hot Cheetos. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna go over and get you. Get over here! Get up! Get! Right, I have something to tell the world. Stick it! You will be held hostage here until I get some hot Cheetos. Do you really? Do you? I mean, come on. One simple mistake could cost you your life. I think you're going a little too far, man. I said I would take it from little babies, from little children. I'm mad, it's just that, that just. What? I told you I don't have any. I don't have any here, man. I've already tried I to tell you. I have important things to do. Then I had to meet with President today, and I canceled it. Cause I thought I was going to get some hot Cheetos. Yeah, I mean, you could have asked before you confirmed to do the interview. Yeah, yeah, but I thought that it would be one of those things. Where it's like, oh, hey, he's coming. Let's go and be nice. Well, I. Oh, uh, I see you smile and you're laughing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. So funny. I just, I think you're being a little too serious about this, man. <clears throat> I'm taking this. Actually, you know what? I know what. Bye bye. That guy was insane. I guess he's still here.
I'm. I don't want to cheat